It can be tough to learn a language when your life gets busy. So today, I am going to walk you through 25 resources that can help you learn Spanish in the go, broken up into these four categories. And watch out, because we've included a secret section that very few non-Spanish speakers know about, apps. First, Memrise offers courses made by app and by actual users. It is basically a series of in-depth flashcards featuring audio and video clips of the words being said, along with their translations. This is a great tool if you want to master a bunch of vocabulary at once. But if you want to learn while watching your favorite videos like Netflix clips, music videos, and YouTube sketches, then you should definitely check out FluentU. FluentU is a platform that focuses primarily on learning through videos so you can learn languages in their context. The app features interactive subtitles and personalized quizzes for each video so you can master Spanish how it's spoken by real-world people. They frequently update with fresh content for you to learn authentic Spanish. In fact, you can sign up for a free trial for FluentU by using the link in the description below. But if you're so busy that you can even use your hands, then you need the audio lessons of Pimsleur. This app features model learning where large sections of languages are grouped off for you to memorize. You can choose what modules you want to prioritize, so, if you want to learn the 50 sets for food, you absolutely can. And if you're a big fan of this hands-off approach, then you'll also be into podcasts. There are several podcasts you can give a shot to practice your listening skills. Coffee Break Spanish, Notes in Spanish, and Lightspeed Spanish are fantastic for multiple language levels to help you pick up conversational European Spanish. For Latin American Spanish, some language-centered podcasts include Spanish Obsessed, Espangolistos, and Buenos Dias America. Once you're a bit more confident in Spanish, you can foray into some podcasts designed for native speakers. Very few Spanish learners know about these, but they're incredibly helpful, so take note. These include the thrilling true crime stories of El Verdadero Robo del Siglo, the science fiction drama of El Gran Apagón, the heart-hitting news of El Hilo, and the fascinating non-fiction storytelling of Radio Ambulante. Quite a few of these podcasts also have audio transcripts on their site, which you can also use for reference. But if you're going on a road trip and want something longer and more substantive, then you can also consider audiobooks. Audiobooks are even better than podcasts in building vocabulary, since they tend to be less conversational and to use more sophisticated words. If you're still a Spanish beginner, Consider Short Stories for Beginners by Ollie Richards, which covers a lot of different fiction genres in bite-sized chunks. There are also children's fiction audiobooks, such as 25 Cuentos para Escuchar en 5 Minutos by Martín Roca, which has short stories written for children with simple, easy language. For intermediate learners, Spanish translations of classics are fantastic. Works such as El Cuervo by Edgar Allan Poe and El Maravilloso Mago de Oz by L. Frank Baum are shorter books that still have some sophisticated language. And because you already know the plot, your brain will soak up the language even better. For advanced learners, try some longer works, such as Como Agua para Chocolate by Laura Esquivel, Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes, or Cien Años de Soledad by Gabriel García Márquez. These are epic texts with complex themes that teach a lot about Hispanic cultures so it is the ultimate challenge to truly master Spanish. Song. Once you have a grasp on the basics of Spanish, you should absolutely check out Spanish pop music. On Spanish language radio, you'll run into several repeated phrases in context, which will help your vocab retention a lot. Some fantastic artists to check out are Enrique Iglesias, Solo en tu boca, yo quiero... Osuna, Esa cosa que no conoce de ti, yo la conozco bien. Rosalía and Si Tangana. Another benefit of listening to Spanish pop songs is that some artists release their songs in both English and Spanish. Shakira has released several of her songs in both languages. A fun exercise is to listen to her songs back to back in both English and Spanish. And if you want to learn Spanish with Shakira, you're in luck, 
because you can watch this video on screen which breaks down a Shakira classic and teaches you a ton of useful Spanish words. I'll see you over there.